So we're going to give this lampshade and the lamp itself a makeover. I've done lots of lamps with um, stamps and decoupage paper and paint. This one we're just going to paint. I've dusted it off and now I'm just adding some bluish greenish paint here and um, the first thing you need to do is kind of spritz it with water so that the paint gets into the fabric i am using debbie's design diary paint it is not fabric paint you could use fabric paint but i'm using a little bit of the spritzing water although i didn't show it here i just spritzed it um it works better that way because the paint goes in nice and even now as far as for the rest of the lamp i wasn't sure what i was going to do besides painting it until I decided, <clears throat> excuse me, that I just wanted to paint flowers and I wanted this lamp to have an overall whimsical, fun, summer color uh, theme on it. And so that's what I'm going for. I'm just drawing or painting some flowers here. Again, I wet my brush before I dip it into the paint so it's, it's a little bit diluted and it gives different shades. I'm not, um, my flowers are going to be abstract. I'm not doing them perfect. It's not what I do. I like them perfectly perfect. So I'm just kind of, um, just brushing on there. Not really sure how to explain it, but just kind of playing with it. So it's, it's a flower shape. I apologize for the lighting here. But here, all I'm doing is just spritzing again because I'm going to keep adding color. And what I do want to do is just kind of layer the flowers that I've painted so far. The roses, um, which are really fun to paint. It's just swirling around. And then I'm going to be adding more layering, actually, more colors on the other flowers that I've painted so far. And this is what will give it more of a dimensional look, a little bit. I think so that's what I'll be doing and then we'll continue now I'm using a product called Bohemian Brights it's also from Debbie's Design Diary paint line and you can add this to cut up uh, to another paint color i'm just going to use it as it is i love this kind of like limey green color um and yeah i think it's just going to give it the tropical look that i'm going for now i'm painting haphazardly and like i said not trying to be perfect and to be honest with you i didn't know how the, this was going to go i didn't know what direction this lampshade was going in but i'm liking it and that's what's great when you paint um just I think you need to free your mind and just go for it. I think sometimes we put too much restrictions on ourselves and that's when we get stuck. Um, I think you just got to do nothing bad can really happen. If you don't like the way the lampshade turned out or anything else, you just throw it out or start over. Okay, so I'm going to add um, some green to give it that tropical vibe. I, I am liking the way this is coming out, to be honest with you. Just like everyone else, sometimes when I paint something, I'm just not really sure what I'm doing and I'm nervous about whether it's going to be good or not. And then I just I just have to let it go and just, just go with it. And that's what I'm doing. And I hope you all do that when you're creating something and not worry so much. Okay, so from here on out, I'm just going to keep spritzing so that the shade stays moist, not soaking wet, but moist. So that this way, also, it makes the paint look like it's watercolors instead of just like really thick clay paint. And that's why I keep adding the water or I wet my brush. And from here on out, I'm just going to just keep layering and adding colors until I'm happy with it. And that's, that's just what you need to do. Just keep going until you're happy with it. You'll know when it's time to stop.
just want to kind of outline what I have already painted on the shade. The paint is dry and I'm using some fabric markers to kind of outline it a little bit and just to add a little bit extra. And this is fun. You have to try this too.